So, I'm going to start out with the preamble of the Constitution of the United States of America. And this was back in 1700s. It's already 2023. This is the 1700s. So, with a little book like this, you want to study guides. And if you can read to your kids, get them interested in it. Because they should know why we do the things we do. They should know why you do the things you do and why you treat them the way you treat them. Because this is America and we should know. So, starting out, the preamble of the United States, the Constitution. The preamble introduces the Constitution by listing six important reasons for writing it. Six important. Think about this. First, in order to form a more perfect union, set up a stronger central government with a state more closely united so the United States could be one nation rather than 13 little countries acting separately as they had under the Articles of Confederation. That's the first point. Secondly, to establish justice or fair treatment. We all deserve fair treatment. Set up a system of laws and courts that would make all men equal under the law at the time. Give all men equal opportunities for fair treatment if accused of a crime. So at that time, it was adult males who owned land. In the 1700s, it was adult males who owned land. Number three, to ensure domestic tranquility. What's that mean? That means peace among the states. So you can't go fighting each other for different states. To settle problems such as poor trade relations between states and to prevent open fighting against state governments. So that's a big no. And then, as had been in Shays' Rebellion, look up Shays' Rebellion, against Massachusetts, which was brought by unfair amount of debt laws, unfairly. Number four, to provide for the common defense, armies and navies, right? To have a strong national army and a navy that could defend all its states. The U.S. has succeeded in that. If a foreign country attacked any state, it would defend and be defended as a national military force supported by all states. Not just one, but all states. Number five, to promote for the general welfare. To promote the general welfare. Sound familiar? It should. To help provide a higher standard of living for the people of the United States through better government. Number six, to secure the blessings of liberty or freedom. Liberty is freedom. Think about that. For ourselves and our posterity. What's posterity? That's called the future of generations of America. Okay? Your kids, your grandkids, your great-grandkids. You set the standard on what they're going to do and how they live. To protect the personal rights of all United States citizens of all time. All right, so I'll go through those six points again for the preamble of the Constitution of the United States. In order to form a more perfect union, to establish justice, to ensure domestic tranquility, to provide for the common defense, to promote the general welfare, and to secure the blessings of liberty and posterity for ourselves. So, read to your kids. Thank you for our civics, our government, and our uh, history teachers. And thank you to the parents and the teachers who teach our kids what they need to know. Go forth, do great things for your mind, your body, and your spirit.